Let's be honest. By not taking immediate action from my report, they allowed a child molester to go free for more than a year. The scars of this horrific abuse continue to live with all of us. Sharp words today from current and former U.S. women's gymnasts testifying about the abuse they suffered at the hands of Dr. Larry Nasser. The former Team USA doctor is serving a decades-long sentence in federal prison for sexual abuse. Now one FBI agent is out of a job on the day the Senate is looking into why the FBI failed to investigate Nasser even after the abuse allegations were reported. CBS 46's Emily Gagnon has the very latest. Sports. Olympic champions Simone Biles, By Allie Raisman, Nasser, Michaela Maroney, and former gymnast Maggie gym Nichols all arrived on Capitol Hill to testify about the sexual abuse they suffered at the hands of USA Gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser. To be clear, I blame Larry Nasser, and I also blame an entire system that enabled and perpetrated his abuse. Congress is looking into why the FBI failed to launch an investigation into Nasser sooner. FBI agents in the Indianapolis office did interview Michaela Maroney over the phone in 2015 during which she gave graphic details of the abuse. I began crying at the memory over the phone and there was just dead silence. I was so shocked at the agent's silence and disregard for my trauma. After that minute of silence, he asked, is that all? But the Department of Justice's Inspector General says the office failed to formally launch an investigation. Inspector General summary, Michael Horowitz says the agents then lied about what Ms. Maroney told them on the phone. Could have actually jeopardized the criminal investigations by providing, by including false information that could have bolstered Nasser's defense. Horowitz says the delay in investigating Nasser allowed him to abuse at least 70 more young women. People who engage in that kind of gross misconduct have no place in the FBI. FBI Director Christopher Wray says he has implemented changes to bureau policies and procedures to make sure future investigations aren't hampered. On no planet is what happened in this case acceptable. But the gymnasts say they want those involved in the cover-up prosecuted. Emily Gagnon, CBS 46 Sports.